So if the potential tectonic plates on Earth have churned the surface up and have long buried any evidence of that four billion years ago, what about Venus? We didn't see craters, or many of them. It's about the same size. Does Venus have tectonic plates? You'd kind of imagine that Venus would be similar because it's about the same size as the Earth. It's made of the same sort of stuff. It should have the same molten uranium yep. heated stuff inside. So you might expect there to be plate tectonics and continents. No oceans on Venus, but That's you right. might still see these two different sizes. But in fact, you don't. This is what Venus, this is the map from the uh, Magellan yeah. spacecraft showing the height of every point on Venus. It's fairly uniform. I mean, there's yeah. a few areas, but... There are hydrogens and areas, but nothing like yeah. the bimodal, there's the height, all the low, and nothing in between. There doesn't seem to be any evidence of plate tectonics, at least not being organised. And, you know, and we saw, when we saw on Mars, there were these huge extreme areas. This just kind of looks bleh. <laughs> That's right. I mean, what we do see is volcanoes. Okay. Yeah. So this is um, a picture of a couple of these volcanoes. So it looks like you don't have the continent ocean crust dichotomy that you do on the Earth. Okay. What you do have is large numbers of not that mountain mountainous volcanoes. These images have all exaggerated the vertical scale so you okay. can see them. But they're actually rather flat volcanoes which probably dribbled out large amounts of lava. It could well be going on at the moment. Okay. I mean, we know yeah. that the surface has been um, wiped presumably by lava plains in the last few hundred million years and that's very recently in terms of the history of the solar system that's right so it could well be it's going to happen again and again and again or what's going on at the moment so okay we haven't really seen any compelling evidence that there are flows right but it right doesn't now. appear to be tectonic plates no which is a little bit puzzling yeah uh, so why wouldn't it have tectonic plates if it's essentially earth's sister or twin well we don't really know i mean it could be that the speculation that it could be because of the presence of water on the surface of Earth. Okay. That when the lava comes up, it hits water and cools really quickly. And water, water also gets carried down, mixed in with the plates at the subduction zones. Yep. And that then turn, flashes into steam, lubricates the whole thing. So it could well be this water being carried down, the water on the surface changes things and gives us this crust of plates. Okay. Um, but it could be that Venus is a very thin crust and just lots of volcanoes popping through. It okay. could also be that Venus is not spinning very fast. The Earth spins That's every 24 right. hours, whereas Venus spins every 200 and something days. So maybe the rotation affects the convection in some way. So, so there's a couple of ideas, we're just not really sure why. Yes, um, and to find out, we really want better images of the surface. I mean, we've only got the rather low resolution yeah. Magellan data. From 30 years ago almost now. Yes. And now, um, in the most recent round of selections, uh, NASA approved two missions to Venus. Right. They've been sending all the missions to Mars recently, but now they're going to go back to Venus. Venus has gotten back in vogue. And one of these is called Veritas, right. which is supposed to get a much more accurate radar map of the surface of Venus. Yep. And so the, instead of the rather low resolution data we've got at the moment, this might actually be able to tell us in detail what's going on. So the hope is, here's an artist's impression of what it might look like. There might be plates, yep. they're just not as big and dramatic as the ones on Earth. Because again, that resolution from 30 years ago is very, very poor. So if there's a lot smaller features, maybe we've just mostly missed them. Yes, this I think we'd have to say, you know, watch the space. When we get the Veritas data back in 10 years or so, then we might get a, to know what's really going on. Then we might see, are there currently active volcanoes? Yep. Why, and that might give us some clues as to why the geology on Venus seems to be so different from the Earth. Okay.